Hello again. Um, so far, we have learned, we have defined a probability space, a triplet, and then uh, defined a random uh, variable, one single random variable uh, uh, over a probability space. Uh, in this chapter, we want to extend the definition of one single random variable into multiple random variables. Uh, we start with two random variables and then uh, the extension to random vectors is uh, very easy. So if you learn uh, how to work and manipulate two random variables, everything is going to be um, extremely easy. So this is the outline of uh, this chapter. We will find, uh, first define uh, bivariate distributions. Then we will um, learn how to uh, manipulate uh, one function of two random variables, um, some concept of circular symmetry, uh, maximum and minimum functions of two random variables. Then we will um, define uh, two functions of two random variables uh, and uh, the objective here in these two sections is to uh, define uh, the joint distributions of two functions of two random variables or one function of two random variables. And we see that the second one is easier, but we start with the um, more difficult one because... Uh, um, and then we will uh, um, uh, learn how to describe the joint density of multiple functions of multiple uh, random variables. Uh, on completing this chapter, a student should be able to uh, use the concept of uh, uh, multiple random variables and random vectors, so uh, uh, work with that, uh, and apply these concepts, um, the joint uh, distribution uh, in uh, some uh, simple uh, uh, physical applications or engineering application, employ the marginal distribution, manipulate the conditional distribution, calculate probabilities, uh, moments, and this and that from that. Calculate the distribution of one function of two or multiple random variables. This is basically generalization of what we have learned. Determine the distribution of multiple functions of two or multiple random variables. So these are uh, very easy things that we learn. So um, we will study the joint probabilistic behavior of many uh, random variables defined on uh, one probability space. For instance, suppose that a particle will hit uh, a, a random point uh, inside a circle. Okay, so here or here or here. So these random points uh, has an X coordinate. So you could say, oh, this is point C and the X coordinate is a random variable, X of C, which is this one. Or you could say that I have a Y of C. So you have two random variables. Or you could have, I have this radius uh, R of uh, C. Or you could have this uh, theta of C. So you could um, define um, uh, different uh, random variables associated with these particles hitting uh, the, a random point inside this circle. So different random variables uh, correspond to different physical parameters of one uh, experiment. Uh, so what we are often uh, interested in, in the joint uh, behavior of uh, let's say in the previous example, x of c and uh, y of c, rather than just the, 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 the um, random behavior of x or y. So we are interested in the joint behavior. So this chapter is to study the joint behavior of multiple random variables. In previous uh, chapters, we have learned how to uh, evaluate and how to manipulate uh, the um, behavior of one single uh, parameter, but here multiple parameters is of interest. Some experimental um, observation results in a vectors or sequence of numbers. For instance, if you record your voice signal, your voice signal in digital domain it could be a big vector or a sequence, or your image is, is a big vector or sequence of uh, numbers. So this is why we do this generalization because of the experiments. We are working with uh, data of huge size. So it is important to have a theory uh, uh, for dealing with these uh, random vectors or uh, uh, 
uh, entities. So we start with two and then uh, generalize it. 